the University of Washington, one of the most prestigious universities in the world and seemingly bursting with intelligence. But what don't they know? At the UW, there's a general lack of understanding about our meat production system. Through this video, we hope to raise awareness about the ethical flaws with our meat production system. We will be conducting a social experiment to gauge what UW students know about the food production system, discover common misconceptions, and guide students out of the dark and encourage them to make informed decisions about their food choices. I think all three are killed instantly. That's actually wrong because none of them are killed instantly in certain cases because the methods okay. aren't finite. So I'll show you pictures. This is a cow that is getting its head bolted in because that's a typical way to kill a cow and slaughter them. But oh, sometimes the okay. bolt misses and the cow is still alive during the slaughter process. This is a picture of a... It's a pig going through a machine that sends electrical impulses throughout its brain, but the electrical impulses don't even kill the pig instantly either. Okay. And finally, here's a picture of a bunch of chickens. On a rack, and they are being beheaded, but the machine may miss. So this is... Sad. I'm planning on being vegetarian. Cow should probably be slaughtered around probably two years to give them time to grow, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. They're actually slaughtered 14 to 16 months, when in the past they're slaughtered four to six years. Wow, I never even imagined. I feel like there's still little babies at 14, 16 months. Like not in a like, cage, I guess. So like allowed to roam around and all that wander. So that can be true, except you don't know how long or when they're let outside. Wait, what? Are they like crates where you like go? They go stuffed in and then they get killed in there. These shrink crates look like this. and they're used to confine pigs during their 16 weeks of pregnancies. Gross. <laughs> it's sad. It is mean. No, I do not, but I would imagine that there would be some off campus, close like on the Av or somewhere downtown Seattle. So, yeah, no, I don't. To illustrate this common lack of knowledge at UW, we decided to poll a few students. The first question we asked was, during slaughter of these animals, cows, pigs, and chickens, are any of them killed instantly? We received the answer 64% right and 36% wrong. When asking what age are cows slaughtered, we received 36% right answers and 64% wrong answers. And what does cage free mean? 9% of students knew, while 91% of students didn't. What are gestation crates and why are they used? We received 100% wrong answers and 0% correct answers. When asking students about common campus solutions, 27% of students had ideas, while 73% of students did not. Here are a few great options for eating local, organic, and sustainable. Chipotle Mexican Grill offers antibiotic and hormone-free products and is local and organic, while Portage Bay works with local farmers to get the freshest produce and meats. After all this information, I bet you're wondering, what can I do? Look for no antibiotics or hormone-free products, ask questions at your local supermarket or restaurants, visit a local farmer's market, don't trust all labeling, look for naturally raised or USDA organic, and share your knowledge with your friends. Vote with your fork. Presented you with their problem and offered solutions. Now it is your chance to make a difference in our food system. After all, you are what you eat.